How would you like to get real time actionable exchange information from exchanges from your own crypto AI agent? Watch this. And there you have it. Hello everyone, I'm Don Jaima from Treasurium AI Labs. Today we're continuing looking at our 10 crypto AI agents in 10 business days built on the NA infrastructure. Last episode, we were together to string up the AI agent. We were able to get some actionable insights. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Upbit AI agent. We're gonna help you do a tutorial. To so let's get started, okay? What we wanna do first is we're going to go to GitHub dot com slash treasurium scroll down to 10 crypto ai agents in 10 business days and we're going to come to the upbit ai agent we're going to download here there we go we're going to open up a new workflow create a workflow and from there we're going to click import file Upbit AI agent. Let me get that loaded in. Okay, we're going to save this. Upbit AI agent. Okay, save this here. We're going to zoom in. And the first thing we want to do is we're going to do the Telegram. So first of all, create a new credential. We're going to change this to Upbit AI agent okay here we go we're going to open up the bot father we're going to create a new bot we're going to name it the up bit ai agent Okay, and here we go. We can get this key, copy this here. We're gonna paste this here, save this. Then we should see connection text successful. There we go. We're gonna close this off. Then we're gonna connect the other telegram to a bit AI agent, save that. Now the next step, what we're gonna do has to do with the authentication here we need to replace the authentication number what we're going to do first is let's bring back telegram we're going to go to this agent hit execute here and we hit start when this happens you'll see it gets stuck here we're going to stop that open it and then you can scroll down here and see the chat id here from the chat id place this here okay now let's try it out again we should be good to go what's the price of Bitcoin there we go and we should get a return Okay, so as you know, Upbit is a Korean exchange. So it gave us the denomination in Korean price. Okay, so let's try again. Let's try what is the price of Bitcoin in USD? get that in the US dollar and there we go we have the US dollar so the standard because a bit is a Korean exchange it's going to be in USD I mean in Korean won so the best thing is just to ask it so let's see we're going to try this again um, 
let's see. What is the price of Ripple? And there we go again. Because it noticed, see the beauty of AI. It noticed before that we asked, it gave us in Korean denomination, fiat, and then we asked for US dollar. So this time it gave it to us in both. This is the beauty of using AI agents uh, on what is happening on that exchange. So let's try something else. How is the liquidity of Ethereum on a bit? Okay, here we're gonna ask about the liquidity. So it should ask access the market depth. And there we go. So if you look at the actual order book right now. This is the top five levels. We can see some of the liquidity denominated. So the total bid is 416 ETH. Total ask is 300 and what kind of decisions you wanna make, uh, you can use this to analyze, okay? So let's try one more. What coin has more liquidity? ETH or Ripple. Okay. Let's check this out. How it's going to give us a comparison. And there you have it. We can see the ETH and we can see the Ripple. So here Ripple shows a significant larger total bid and act size in its order book compared to Ethereum on upbit, indicating higher levels of liquidity in terms of volume on Ripple. However, keep in mind these numbers represent units, not value in Korean won. Ether's uh, higher value per coin affects overall market depth in currency terms. If you want, I can fetch the weighted, the value weighted liquidity for a clearer comparison. Okay, and then we say yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. And this is what we're talking about. Having the access to the AI agent can connect directly with uh, the exchange can give you really good actionable insights. Here we go. So liquid comparison, ETH versus Ripple on Upbit. Uh, and there we go, summary. Ripple demonstrates significantly larger liquidity in terms of Korean won value on both bid and ask sides compared to ETH. So the simple answer is Ripple has more liquidity than ETH on a bid. So there you go. Thank you for joining us. And remember to catch us on September 27th at 10 a.m. for our live flow gramming. Thank you for, for watching. Like, subscribe, see you next time.